a minimum height? I am heightest in that I won't date a guy like under like six foot one. Would you exclude obesity? No. Minimum income? 80K. What do you think like probability of meeting a man in the US? 40? It's actually 0.79%. Wow, I, lo I love that for me. It has been a long time since I have done a reaction video on my channel. Reason being, it's not my style, unless if the video really ticks me off to the point where I have to interact myself. In fact, the last reaction video I did was around one year ago. This one will be from the channel Malik Snaps, where he does live interviews on the streets. This one talks about if women's dating standards are delusional. Now there's an issue with doing live interviews on the streets, especially with women. Why is that? Well, because of the female virtue signaling. Women are overall more agreeable, avoid conflicts, and also more conforming with social norms. For example, most victims of mass hysteria are female. Virtual signaling also has something sneaky about it, which agrees with women being more sneaky than males. It can hence be assumed that women also use virtual signaling a bit more, i.e. women are also commonly pushing political platitudes about society or the environment, though often seemingly driven by a motherly instinct for protecting the offspring. Due to women's lower status, drive, and activity levels, they are probably less often seen virtue signaling overall. They rather try to blend in, sneakily secure some resources for themselves and their offsprings without drawing too much attention, as women also score higher in withdrawal, which basically means women in interviews are most likely to be dishonest to seem virtuous. If you want to support the channel and get your face evaluated by me with personalized look, max, and advice, link will be down in the description. If you want to read more about topics like these, you can check out my blog at neurofacebreaking.com. Without further ado, let's get this video started. Minimum height. Five, seven and a half. Five, nine. Five, eight. Six foot. Minimum height. <laughs> like six feet tall. Six feet? Yeah, Loki. How tall are you? I'm 4'11". I mean, I'm 4'11", so I feel like I don't have the right to what? exclude height. Minimum height. Five, eight, four, eleven. <laughs> I am heightest in that I won't date a guy like under like six foot one. And we see this virtue signaling firsthand with the first couple of girls saying that they would date men of average height or lower, with the few saying six foot. But in real life it's different and study shows otherwise. Here we can see in this graph that 50% of women will reject a man who is five foot eight based solely on his height. And 14% of women will reject a man who is five foot ten based solely on his height. And of course, the funny thing is, the girl who is below average in terms of looks is the one with the highest of standards. Next part of the interview will be about weight. So would you date a man that's like shorter than you? I need to wear six inch heels. If they're comfortable with me wearing six inch heels, then we're fine. Okay. Would you exclude obesity? No. Yes. No. A lot of people are obese. I would not exclude obesity. Unless you're like rolling on the ground. Would you exclude obesity? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Would you exclude obesity? Yes, absolutely. No? Yes. Would you exclude obesity? No. <laughs> if you want to stop being obese and you want to get healthy, then no. But if you have no intention of becoming healthy, then yes. Would you exclude obesity? No. Yes. I'm very fit, so I enjoy somebody that can run with me. That's my first date criteria. First dude I went on a date with, 11 and a half miles we ran. Five said that they would exclude obesity, and seven said they would not. Now there is also a level of virtue signaling here, because in reality the numbers of women who would exclude obesity would be much higher. Across 91 studies, bodily masculinity was predictive of men's mating and reproductive success, and being overweight in most cases is not indicative of strength nor health. The next part of the interview would be about income and money. Minimum income. I want 500k or more. 200,000. Uh, 140. 500k. I make more than me or yeah, I want, I'm tired. <laughs> they need to make more money than me. Minimum income. More than 60k. 86,000. 80k. Okay. Minimum income. I, I don't even care about money that much myself. To be honest, like I don't care as long as he's paying. Nope. They could be, un I've dated unemployed men. Any income as long as it's like cool though. It's because I'm going to make bank. And okay. I'll support him. And minimum income. Money isn't real. <laughs> I have like not a good concept conception of money. How do you pay for your bills? Money always comes to me. It's one thing to find a guy that makes a good amount of money that respects you and doesn't hold that over your head. It's like I make the money, so I make the decisions versus finding someone who's like, well, I do make this money, we're partners. That's not the most important thing. What is the most important thing? Personality. Majority of women said here figures that are way above the average income. And the ones that said any are also virtue signaling to a level because the average American male income is around $38,000. Would you exclude any race? White. Why? Just not my thing. Not my cup of tea. Would you exclude any race? 
I'm Persian, and I would say I don't want any Persian men. Why yeah, is that? Because I think, I don't know. And finally, when it comes to race, the girl that excluded white men as a race to date is the funniest, because all races agree that whites are the most attractive, and women prefer whites far more than men. And finally, I'm gonna let this part of the video play out by itself, as they realize the level of delusion they are indulged in when they see the probability of them meeting the men they were describing. What do you think like the probability is of meeting your man in the US? Like 85%. 17.5%. 40%. 95%. 70%. 70%. Maybe like 70%. 0%. 40? Like 10%. It's actually 6.7%. Perfect, perfect. You're an aspiring cat lady. I don't, I'm a dog person. It's actually 1.8%. Oh my god. All the obese men are here, so my chances of meeting people abroad are higher because there's less obese men, right? It's actually 0.061%. I am an alien. Sorry if I really let that slip. My bad, guys. So. It's actually 0.79%. Wow, I, lo I love that for me! 58%. All right. I'll deal with 58 the probability is 0.33 percent. Uh, that US. makes sense. It's 25 percent. I'm not gonna lie. I get way over that. It's actually 13.9 percent. It's 0.71 percent. I agree. I totally agree. It says here you're a cat enthusiast. <laughs> I love it. What do you think is the probability percentage Point of you meeting a zero, man? Zero, zero, 0.005, I already know. <laughs> 0.094. Yeah, so actually better than I thought, yeah. The probability is 0.36%. That's pretty tough. It says here like you're going to be a cat enthusiast. I actually like cats. 15%. It's actually... Ooh, 51%. I'm dyslexic as fuck, that makes sense. That's it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Credit, of course, goes to Malik Snaps for the interview. You guys should check out his channel. And like usual, catch you guys in the next one.